What's the deal? It's your boy OG on through the door, your host, favorite gigolo, my phone froze like Eskimo toes. And today, what we are to make is the barbecue meatball. We are going to make the barbecue meatball today. We have the ingredient, and you need the sweet baby, the chili sauce to make the cranberry sauce. You can use cranberry sauce or grape jelly. I use the cranberry sauce, I have the grape jelly, but I'm not going to use it. You can put the cranberry sauce in the grape jelly. Depending on how sweet you want your meat. <laughs> now I have my oven already. This time I prepared. I have my oven preheat to 350 degrees. So you want to put the meatball in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. You put the meatball in the pan. I hope I got the right size pan. Oh yes. I love missing meat. So now we are going to season the meat. You have to have the lari, the, the, the best seasoning in the world. We, we do not want to put too much of the lari because it is a lot of sodium and then we are going to have the barbecue. Season the meat with good and then you, you have to stir it around. You have to spread the seasoning across your meatening. <laughs> this is a very important ingredient. You want to grab it and you want to shake it before you bake it. And so now we are going to put, we're going to place the meatball in the oven. Exactly 15 minutes. Wait, we do the timer for the 15 minutes. This is the part where you need the sweet baby ray and the chili sauce and the cranberry sauce. Okay, so now the first thing you want to do, you have your nice size bowl, is you. You want to get all of the barbecue sauce. Uh, you know what? I should have put in the goat. I should have did the cranberry sauce first, but it is okay. Get as much of the barbecue sauce out of the bottle as you can. We're going to put the chili sauce, but we are going to get the cranberry sauce together. And here I go with my janky ass. Um, when did the, the can opener? Yes, you nigga know what I try to say. So we're going to get the can. We're going to get the can. We are going to get. We are going to get the can. God damn, we are going to get the can. We are going to get it. Oh my goodness, Jesus. We are going to, we, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad to click out on this shit. I'm bad to click. We are going to get it, hold on. Mm. There you go. We got it. Hey, we have it. So now we proceed to open the, oh my goodness, Jesus. We are going to get it, oh yeah. Remove the lid, do not cut yourself. Oh yes. <laughs> Cranberry, berry, berry. And so now, you need one bottle of the chili sauce. It is time to add the chili sauce. And you have your whisk. If you do not have a whisk, you use a spoon, whatever you do, improvise. You nigga know what to do. Improvise so Do not worry if you do not get your cranberry sauce chopped up very fine because when you put it in the oven, it is going to melt it, okay? The, the heat is going to melt your cranberry sauce or your grape jelly, whatever you choose, or both, if that's what you want to do. And once you put the sauce over the meatball and put it in the oven and bake it to perfection, it is going to, it is going to melt the cranberry sauce with the grape jelly. And so now you want to do like Rick Ross and whip it real hard, whip it, whip it real hard. It is pretty much done at this point, but we, you know, we like to continue to stir because we like it to try to mix it as good as we can. Now see, the more you see I stir, the smoother it get. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Oh my goodness, Jesus. Oh, oh, my meatball are ready to come out of the oven. I can smell it. Can't wait to put it in my belly. Oh yes. And you just want to, to pour it, you want to spread it around. I might have actually made too much sauce, but it is, it is okay because there is no such thing. You want to stir your meatball because you want to spread the sauce in between. You want the sauce all over every meatball. That looks delicious already and it's not even, it's not even finished. It is sauce everywhere. It is. It is just the sauciest of the sauce. Uh, it is, it's saucy Santana. It's sauce Walker. It's just so saucy. It is barbecue everywhere. It is a barbecue attack. It is a barbecue mania. Now you want to put the meatball back in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I like to do 30 minutes. Oh yes, that is going to be delicious. Now, we are going to, we are going to stir. 
because we did the 15 minutes. Now we are going to stir the meatball. Very simple meal to make. We are going to apply the aluminum foil. Ah, shit! I could have took it all the way out, but I'd be lazy right now. I should have taken it all the way out of the oven. And then we push back. And then we set another 15 minutes. The meatball is ready! Ready, ready! Yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. It is hot, so I blow. We are going to taste. Mmm. 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 That's a barbecue meatball right there, baby. Mmm. I'm so hungry right now. Mmm. Mm. I need to put it back in the oven. They ain't hot enough, but. Mmm. That's the gist to it. That's how you make it. You know, make something for you and your kids. I'm gonna put it back in the oven though, it needed it. Oh well. Mmm. 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 Yes, sir. Bob, come here, Bob. Bob, come here, Bob.